what I'm going to do is show you this little delicious horseradish creamy sauce that we're going to do with them. I take a sour cream and to that I'm going to add some horseradish to that. You know, you have a hard time finding horseradish because it's generally in the in the dairy case. A little mayonnaise in here as well. And let's see how this is going to blend up. I like it with a, a bit of a zip to it from the horseradish. So now what we're going to do is add a little salt. Fresh ground pepper. And let's just see how zippy this is. Mmm. Delicious. I'm going to take some bacon and kind of start working it here in my pan. Now, let's talk about burgers. Because... Um, Basically, I'm using two different types of meat. I'm going to use a ground chuck. Now, chuck has 15 to about 27% fat, depending on where you buy it and who you buy it from. But that fat is important to a good burger. So I'm using a little bit of chuck, and then I'm going to use a little bit of ground sirloin. Now, sirloin is very lean with hardly any fat. This that I actually bought today was 93%. I have bought them up to 97%, which means that's only 3% fat, and you're not going to get a real good burger unless you have the right amount of fat in there. You've got to have some. To mine, I add chopped garlic, and then let me give you the old White Castle or Lee's secret, and that is some onion. You're going to take some small diced onion. You see how I'm just dicing it small? I'm using this little utility knife. Now, immediately I'm going for the salt, pepper, lots of fresh ground pepper, and shh, a tiny bit of olive oil. Now, this is where most people make the mistake. They overwork the meat. Folks, don't overwork it. Just incorporate what you need to incorporate, your seasoning, your onion. Because what you don't realize is that if you keep messing around with this meat here, you're going to make it tough. Which is why now... I just take a little ice cream scoop like this, and look at that. I make my little sliders, little sirloin sliders. We're seasoning them now with a little essence. You know, I would have these individually wrapped inside of my ice chest, and uh, when we're going to tailgate, I would uh, season them up already, and uh, then get them on that grill. Now... We're going to make sure that we're going to season the other side of them as well. Oh, yeah. Check that out. Keep your hands clean. And uh, we're going to go back now with a little more seasoning of essence on the other side. Bacon's done. You know, people have the tendency when they're doing this to uh, to kind of keep pressing on them. See how I'm just flipping them? People go in there and press on them. What they do is whatever fat is in the meat, they just lose all the juices by doing that. They're doing absolutely great. And basically what we do is we just take that horseradish sauce, take one of the sliders, Maybe a little piece of bacon. Oh, there's one that we got made up right there. 
little horseradish, little slider, little piece of bacon. Oh, there's another one there. Oh, baby.